for example, one of the most asked questions is what is the current demand for certified AI auditors in the market and is it growing? Yeah, so that's a really good question. And so I would say I'll answer the second part. Is it growing? The answer is yes. But where is it growing and what is the exact role? So I think if you were if you were to ask me, is there a high demand for, let's say, AI assurance or audit professionals as a as a role in and of itself? The answer is there's not a massive because there aren't that many companies that do it. Babel is one of them. There are, there are other kind of smaller startups um, and that have AI audit as their focus. There's not many, but there are a few. And then there are bigger assurance firms, which like the big four and, you know, the tiers below that, that are starting AI assurance engagements. And typically what they're doing is they're training or upskilling. I know because a lot come through our courses, they upskill their, their people to do AI assurance. And so that there's less like advertising for it. However, I think they are going to start looking for people that have a specialization in that. And then there are certification bodies. So think like TUV and uh, SGS and, the, and BSI and those people, A-Line. They do like ISO 42001 audits, which are becoming more popular. And so there, there, there's a potential to have that role. However, if you step back for a second, there are many roles that we're seeing companies looking for internally that like risk managers, AI governance professionals within the model risk management function, if you're talking about banks and, and financial services, within sort of what would be considered the second or third line of the governance within organizations, internal audit. Many of them are now asking for like AI specific versions of those roles, which is exactly what kind of our training program is because it doesn't just cover audit. We have to teach people all of the stuff that is the subject of the audit, which is all the governance controls and all of that stuff. So it is a pretty comprehensive that way. And so we're seeing more of those roles, but whether whether specific roles for AI auditors as a standalone, I don't think that that's going to start hitting until probably next year. We're going to start seeing much more of that as we have EU AI Act, as the U.S. starts passing laws. So I think that's a long answer, but I think that's that's roughly how it's working out.